topic 1.1. limits so let's work on the definition of the limits there are two conceptual ideas to introduce the limit concept so the first conceptual idea is based on the linear model, so, monodimensional model. Let's use a funny example to facilitate the understanding. Let's consider that we have a crack, <laughs> a cucaracha, coming to this world in that direction. And we will in x direction. Her or its trajectory can be considered some function of x. The first day it was 50% of the distance. Today. Today. Tomorrow, 50% of the remaining distance. 50% of the remaining distance. This is tomorrow. After tomorrow, also 50% of the remaining distance. So every day, 50% of the remaining distance. 100 day, 1,000 day. So what happened here is that practically it never touched this position. Let's consider C value, the value of X in this position. But we can consider that there is there is a moment when the distance between the crack and the wall is very small. It's so small that can be considered uh, practically equal to zero. We will name this distance using Greek letter delta. So as you can understand, delta will be 0 0.000001. For example, now look, if we are working with the definition of the limit, the idea, eh, this first conceptual idea, is that the limit of the function in x, when x towards c, will be some value. Let's use the letter L to represent the limit, some value, the limit. But x never will be equal to c. It approach, it approach very slowly. That's the first conceptual idea. Now, let's see the second conceptual idea. The second conceptual idea. In this case, we will use b-dimensional model. So let's consider a function in y, x system. There is some function here. At some c value on the x, we know that when x towards c, the function has L value, the limit. The function y value in this case will be exactly L value. But we can approach this value coming from the left or coming from the right. So up or down. 
So when X towards to C from the negative side, we will represent using a small negative sign on the position of the exponent. This is not exponent. This is only to show this is only to show that X towards C from the from the left side. So there is a moment when the function approach C, uh, the, the distance will be very small, very small, you know, delta. We used it before. But as you can see, in this moment, the value of the limit is not L. will be L minus epsilon, and we can call this distance epsilon. Well, Greek letter. So epsilon is also very, very small. Now let's see what happened when coming from the from the right. So x approach c, we will represent x positive. So in this case, the limit will be l plus epsilon. That distance. Always we will use here a rectangle. And we will try to locate the limits on the middle, on the middle of the rectangle, to, to half both delta from the left and from the right equals, and both epsilon from the top, from the bottom, equals. To, to avoid contradiction. So now let's see what happened here. Here happens that x minus c, x minus c will be delta, hmm? equal or less than, less than delta. Uh, could be less than delta because every day the clock goes 50%, 50%. 50%. So larger time, shorter distance. If going from here will be negative, but to avoid sign contradiction, let's use absolute value. Now let's see what happened here. What happened here is that L, mm -mm, not L, the function. Why? Why? Uh, we don't use to write. Why? We use to write the function. We are, we are in calculus. The function in x minus minus the limit so you you can be here this is the function in x you can be here see so the function in x minus the value of the limit will be equal or less than epsilon one more time we use absolute value to avoid sign contradiction but this is very interesting we have in front of us the definition of the limit. The formal definition of the limit. These two very simple, very simple inequalities represent the formal definition of the limit. It looks very simple, but, but really it's not so simple. We we have to practice some, some elemental examples, first of all, step by step, to understand, to, to learn how to use this concept. So now let's see some simple examples. The first one, let's suppose that we have a function y equals to 2x plus 3. First of all, let's analyze what is that, because we have to solve the question limit of the function, which is 2x plus 3, when x towards, for example, 2. 2 is equal to what? Is equal to what? Let's do that analysis. Analysis. So, the graph of the function. The interception in 3, 1, 2, 3, the slope is 2, room 
one rise two. So we have here a line. And when x equals to two, we are here. Exactly. And you know, we never will be equals to two. It will be in 1.999. Or in 2.001, for example. So we are playing around 2. Uh, playing around 2, we, we, get, we get the real value of, of what? Of the limit of 2x from x towards 2 plus limit of 3 when x towards 2. So we have two functions. Let's see the first one. The first one, 1, 1, 2, is that one. When x equals to 2, y will be 1, 2, Three, four. So the value of this number will be four. I can write here four. And now three. Y equals to three is a line. One, two, three is a line. Look. So it doesn't matter if you if you towards one, two, three, four. When towards 2, the value is also 3. So here will be 3, always. Will be. So you discover something. The limit of the constant is the same constant. That's discovered in this moment for you. Resulting that we have 4 plus 3 equals to 7. Very simple. Very simple, but well, this is a real simplification to facilitate the complexity of the fourth uh, examples. In this case, we do not have any own definition. This is a line. This is a kindergarten example. Even we can solve it by replacing directly the numbers. What if I replace x with 2? Two? 2 times 2 plus 3 equals to 7. We can solve the problem mentally in seconds. Let's see another example, a little more difficult. Find the limit of the function y equals to 2x squared plus 5x plus 2 when x towards 2 so let's write using limit definition to answer the question limit of 2x squared plus 5x plus 2 that's our function when x towards 2, which can be written using three components, three functions. So we can write limit of 2x squared when x towards 2 plus limit of 5x when x towards 2 plus limit of 2 when x towards 2. Because this is a simple function, not on definition, we can solve the problem by plugging in x the value of 2. Even we, we could do here. But now we are reviewing the procedure. So this is the correct procedure. So final solution can be replace x with 2 squared plus 
5 times 2 plus the constant. So 8 plus 10, 18 plus 2, 20. Very simple, we have a solution. Let's check example number 3. Now suppose that we have rational equation, number 3. For the number 3, find the limit of 2 over x plus 3, no, 3, 3 plus x, 3 plus x, when x approach or towards 3. So, if we had minus here on the denominator, will be 0 when x approach 3. And in this case, we, we have to apply more complicated, more advanced procedure. But because this is a simple equation, non definition, we can split into limits. This is limit of 2 when x towards 3 divided by the limit of 3 plus x when x towards 3. The parentheses are not necessary if you know what you are doing, but I prefer to work with rigor. So, on the numerator position, the limit of the constant is 2. On the denominator, by putting here the number 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, so find a solution, 1 third. So all these examples are very simple. Now let's solve something a little more complicated. minus 1 divided by x minus 1 when x towards 1. Look, this is a really very interesting example. What happened here eh, in x equals to 1 what happened? If y equals to square root of 1 minus 1 divided by 1 minus 1, we get on the denominator 0. So, so really, <laughs> we cannot solve this problem. Yeah, we can solve. And on a <laughs> worse situation, on numerator also 0. So <laughs> what is that? 0 over 0. This is really very undefined situation. However, if we analyze what is happening in this function, in this moment, I am not thinking about the exact graph. Let's suppose that this function goes somewhere. But what happened here in x equals to 1, real on definition, the function do not exist in that point, like if we have here a hole. But which is the value that the function approach in that moment? So, we have to analyze the problem as we learned it before in part A. Going from the left and from the right. So I have to consider some values very near to x equals to 1. So I can construct a table. I can construct a table to identify what is happening. For example, for x values equals to 
equals to, let's suppose that we have here one. So we are, we are approaching, we are approaching from, from the left. Here will be 0 0.999. Here will be 0 0.99. Uh, uh, here 0 0.90. We are approaching. Uh, here will be 1 1.001. 1.01. 1.1. We know when, when x equals to 1, we have here 0 over 0. Can write on the fine. We can write on the fine. On the fine. What happened here? What happened here? What happened here? We have we, we have to calculate. We have to calculate. So We need a calculator, graphic calculator in order to see the graph and numeric <coughs> calculator in order to do this operation because we do not have time to, to perform this arithmetic operation. So in this opportunity I will copy from the book, but next lecture probably I will teach using the tablet in order to show at the same time the graph and in order to show on the same screen the calculator yeah so let's see what happened when x equals for example 0 0.9 we can write y equals to square root of 0 0.9 minus 1 divided by divided by 0 0.9 minus 1 so if you solve this operation, you get 0 0.527864. So this is a number which goes here. I will write 0 0.53. Now, what happens when y equals to square root of 0 0.99 minus 1 divided by 0 0.99 minus 1? <coughs> the, solution, the solution will be 0 0.5. 1, 3, etc. So, 0 0.51. Uh, what happened when y, when x equals to 0 0.0999? So, square root of 0 0.99. Minus 1 divided by 0 0.999 minus 1. So if you perform this operation, you get 0 0.500 0, 0, 1, 2, 5. Now I will write 0 0.50. Now let's see what happened when approaching from the right. When approaching from the right, we have similar operation. Y equals to square root of 1.1 minus 1 divided by 1.1 minus 1 
the solution will be 0 0.47 blah 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 0 0.77226 what happened when x equals to square root of 0 no 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 0 of 1.01 .01. 1 1.01 .01. Minus 1 divided by 1.01 .01 minus 1. The solution will be 0 0.48. 48, 48. So here we have 0 0.47. Here we have 0 0.48. Here we have. We will have. 0 0.499 so as you can see it approach from here ah the reality is that that function goes by this way and from here it goes 0 0.46 0 0.49 0 0.5 and from here it goes 0 0.51 By zero. So, looking to the limits, we we understand the character, the character of the function. That's very interesting. That's very interesting. And, and we discover that the character of the function is that is that one is that one so the limit the limit is equal to 0 0.5 when x towards when x approach when x approach hey are you saying what interesting you were thinking that <laughs> this operation uh, square root of x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 at x equals to 1 or approaching 1 is, is impossible to solve. No, you, you solve 0 0.5, 0 0.5. But I will teach in next class using the tablet to show you the graph, how this function goes step by step. But something more very interesting, something more very interesting we can solve this problem analytically. Analytically, but let's suppose that we have. Maybe this is not the. The markers I have before. So let's suppose that we analyze the problem using algebra, using algebra, but let me try, let me try to solve it using algebra. I will multiply the numerator and the denominator by its conjugate, but square root of x plus 1 divided by square root of x plus 1. Like if I am rationalizing the numerator. So here we have a difference of a square. Here we have a difference of a square. Which will be square root of x squared minus 1 x minus 1 uh, on the denominator we have x minus 1 divided by square root of x minus 1 so 
x minus 1 times square root of x minus 1. Just to limit when x approach 1 towards 1 of 1 over square root of x minus 1. No, no minus 1, plus 1. I did the multiplication by plus 1. Here is plus 1, here is plus 1, here is plus 1. Correct? So, look, it's very interesting. Now, no on definition, because when x is equal to 1, square root of 1 is 1, plus 1 is 2. So this is 1 half. This is the solution we got previously. This is 0 0.5, the limit. So, we solved the problem using algebra. But what we did, we cleared the undefinition because this term is the term which is producing the undefinition. We cleared it. No more undefinition. So this solution is correct every time, except on the same point when x equals to 1. But we do not have problem because we never touch 1. Remember, the crock, the kukarasha, it never touched the 1. We never touch 1. We are around. And around, very, very near, we have this solution. Well, let's see example number seven. Example number seven. Estimate the value of the limit as x approach zero. So now we have something a little different, more complicated. We cannot replace directly the values of x as we did before. Because in this situation we have on definition. Look, look, let's consider y equals to at x equals to zero will be zero squared plus nine minus three divided by zero squared, which is on the denominator zero squared is zero, square root of nine three minus three zero, total on definition. So, we have to investigate how the function approach zero from the left, from the right. So, on the notebook, you have a calculation for a large number of points. Here, we can do a couple of points. So, let's check the values of x and calculate it for this value x2 plus 9 minus 3 divided by x2. So, let's evaluate different points. Different points. Different points. So we are looking when x equals to zero. We know this will be undefined. Undefined. And now we are approaching. Let's consider that we are approaching somewhere here in 0 0.1. I am using not so small delta. I am using larger and here minus 0 0.1 look here could be minus 0 0.5 here could be plus 0 0.5 etc etc but i will consider only 
two points. So if I replace right here in x2 minus 0 0.1 or plus 0 0.1, let's do so. For that will be minus 0 0.1 squared plus 9 square root minus 3 divided by minus 0 0.1 square. So using your function here will be 1 over 6. So further I will teach how to solve all these problems using Excel, Microsoft Word, or using <coughs> Microsoft Mathematics. So you can solve in seconds. The computer will solve for you. But it's important that you knew what the computer does and how to, to manage. Even later, we will learn how to solve all these problems analytically. Let's check a quick introduction to the analytical method. Look at this equation. The on definition is produced by x squared, when x equals to zero. So if, if we cancel this term, we will not have on definition and we can replace the numbers directly. We can apply the, the first method we used at the beginning of the lecture for the linear equation, for the simple equation. Let's see what x2 plus 9 square root minus 3 divided by x2. I will multiply the numerator and the denominator by its conjugate, I will rationalize the numerator. Square root of x2 plus 9 plus 3 divided by exactly the same. If I multiply and divide by the same number, no change. Right? 3 times 5 divided by 5, that's 3. x2 plus plus 3. We are looking for the limit of that function. What is that? This is a difference of a square. Look. This is a difference of a square. Which comes from x2 plus 9 square root square minus 3 square. That's the difference of a square. Divide, divide, x2, now we multiply, x2 times, times, square root of x2 plus 9 plus 3. So let's solve. Cancel. And 3 squared is 9. So we have here x2 plus 9 minus 3 squared 9 divided by x squared times x squared plus 9 plus 3. So we are looking for the limit of this of this Simplify equation. So, they cancel. X2 divided by X2. They cancel. Now we have here 1. And on the denominator. So, we have to find the limit when X towards 0 
of 1 over square root of x 2 plus 9 plus 3. So if we perform direct replacement now, here 0, the square root of 9 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 1 over 6, which is the number we knew from before, but now we, we got this number analytically. As discussed before, in example 7, we approach, we approach 0 from the right and from the left. So here goes 0. I use 0 0.001 to facilitate the calculation. And as we saw before, the limit of this function is equal to 1 over 6 or 0. 0 0.16666 when x approach 0. You can see the graph. If you, if you zoom this region, you will see that this function gets on the finest exactly when x equals to 0. Look, so interesting. You can use graphic calculator, write this function, zoom at x equals to zero, and visualize this process. Example number eight. Now, let's solve the limit of square root of x squared minus one when x approach 1. Interesting here that the domain of this function, this function exists only when x squared minus 1 greater than or equals to 0. Because we cannot, we cannot use negative value inside the square root. Why? Because the solution will be imaginary. Function do not exist for x less than 1. So we cannot investigate, or if we investigate, no solution from the left. We have to investigate this function from the right. The limit only exists from the right. I will use here the sign plus to represent such process. And when x towards 1, 1 minus 1, 0. The limit is equal to 0. And what is that? This is one side limit. It exists only when approaching x from the right side. Example number 9. In example number 9, we have limit of the function natural logarithm of x divided by x when x approach 0. As you know, the domain of the natural logarithm will be x greater than 0. Even it cannot be equal to minus 1, cannot be negative number, cannot be equal to 0, only greater than 0. Here is the graph. So it do not exist when x negative. So we cannot get any result approaching 0 from the left. We have to write here also plus. 
And when approaching zero from the right, the function goes down to minus infinitive, which is the solution of the limit, minus infinitive. You can evaluate. You can calculate using x equals to, for example, 0 0.5, x equals to 0 0.1, and x equals to 0 0.001. And you will see that in that direction, the value of the limit increases. Could be here 1 million, 10 to the 6, could be here 10 to the 10. It increases, increases, increases as you approach zero. This is also one side limit. If we had this type of situation, look, if we have use red color. If we had this type of function, like y equals 1 over x, when approaching, when approaching 0 from the right, you get plus infinity. When approaching from the left, you get minus infinity. So, in such case, no limit. Also, we can say, undeterminated. <laughs>